Kabam, we're back. Evan Ingram at 98 overall, powered up. He's here. How good is he? We're going to go through it. We're going to see if he's worth the coins. On this review, I do have matchup nightmare, streak specialist, and red zone threat on him. Go deep time four and sprinter. Hit the like on the button. It really helps the channel. It helps these reviews to keep coming. And I really do appreciate it very much for any retweet or telling and sharing with your friends. Evan Ingram is a card that's been pretty anticipated. People have been wanting him to get an upgrade for a while. On this review, he does have 96 speed on my team. So that's pretty crazy for a, you know, tight end to be able to get at this point in the game. That, um, a lot of defenses have 99 speed a lot of places, but if you get him matched up against a linebacker and a man, it's great to put him on a streak and have spe streak specials on him. That's exactly how I'd use this card if I was you. Um, you can put him in motion and see if he's getting followed by a linebacker and then put him on a streak. That's what I tend to do with him. He does have 98 spec catch. I'm going to tell you right now, um, that's fake news. He does not spec catch very well at all. Who does spec catch really, really well? Um, you'll watch my Odell Beckham review. That card is so good. I don't know why. Like, it's, it goes above and beyond. But, um, I did not have any real luck getting spec catches. I played quite a few games with this card. I actually kept doing the spec catch, kept trying to see if it was going to trigger the animation, but really didn't very well at all. Um, but as far as route running, what's going to help his route running is going to be his speed. At 96 speed, um, he's going to get some separations from some linebackers, and he's going to be able to outrun them. An A- minus carry... He took, I can't, I went back and watched the film, I think about seven hits, he didn't fumble, which doesn't mean he won't fumble, but he didn't fumble a lot, he's not really have a tendency to fumble. Deep throw, he's at eight minus, is what he does best. Get him um, going deep, if you want to open up the offense, that is going to be the best way to use this card. I would um, suggest staying out of, cross the middle with him. His, his catch in traffic is at 88 stock, and you can really feel that compared to, to um, like Tony Gonzalez. His blocking is a C plus, nothing special, nothing terrible. Who blocks really well is going to be George, George Kettle, um, but this card has nothing special blocking, 73 stock. Um, as you see here, you get him over the top, he can really damage a defense. I cannot suggest that enough. But if some people don't really run tight ends, some people do. Um, so if you're going to cut cost on your team, you can just not have a tight end. And run five wide receivers, four wide receivers instead. Um, but if this is what you would like, he, he's fine for that. Route running is an A minus. Uh, he gets good separation because of his speed and his route running. Um, 68 strength. He doesn't really break too many tackles at all. But overall, he's an A minus. He doesn't break too many tackles on his own. He doesn't do too much on his own like that. I will say, as you see, his juke it works pretty well. Um, the, I did have 97 acceleration on him. So this guy does zoom around. And as always, help others for no reason, guys. Uh, help the community grow, push each other, and encourage each other. Um, I do want to know what you guys want to see next. Let me know. Is it AJ Green? Who is it? Down below in the comments. It helps me know what you guys want next. Thank you for the kind words. I am going to compare him to a couple of tight ends real quick here. Him or Waller. Um, I pick Waller. Waller just catches way better in traffic. Um, he can get elite speed as well. 
with a 6'6 frame. I am big on frames. Tony Gonzalez will be more across the middle, and Evan's going to be deep. So it depends how you want to call your plays. If you need a guy across the middle, you get Tony Gonzalez. He'll excel way more than this card will for sure. So, guys, I really want to say thank you. I think I'm going to do a quarterback video later today. I'm thinking I'm going to do um, like top five quarterbacks or top ten and show you the difference of who you should really get. Should you get Cam or should you get Randall? Anyway, guys, thank you for the likes. Thank you for the views. I will see you next time.